Good morning, this is Brad, the Yamaha Marine Center. We are in Bahia Mar, Fort Lauderdale for the Pursuit Rendezvous this year. Uh, I wanted to get some video just to kind of show you guys uh, once we get across to Bimini, uh, get in uh, some of the customs that we have to follow and maybe get some interesting video on the way too of if we see, uh, see anything in the crossing. But uh, that way you can get an idea of what flags to fly, uh, how to get through customs, all that good stuff. I mean, it changes every day in the Bahamas, but we have about almost 40 boats going over with us this morning, so it should be interesting. Um, like I said, I'll try to document as much as possible to give you an inclination of how the process goes uh, as you approach land, what flags to fly, uh, once you clear customs, uh, flags to put up then, uh, all that good stuff. So we'll be leaving here in about a half hour. It only takes about two hours to get over there. Weather looks great. Sea state's awesome. Should make good time. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. We'll be there for about four days. So we'll get some good videos of the water and fishing tournaments and all the fun stuff we're going to be doing. Have a nice day. Everybody's right. grouped up right outside of the inlet. Things are getting busy already at 8 a.m. Got some big weight coming. Don't fall off the boat. Got some rollers coming, Barton. Okay. Uh, we've got our, uh, our Some more video getting closer um once we get closer to land maybe some running footage out there it should be a nice day about two feet or less all week so hopefully the crossing over and back works out pretty good we'll take some video of the islands too we're out diving and snorkeling and stuff give you some things to do while you're in bimini hopefully you guys can hear me we're about halfway between Fort Lauderdale and bimini um i think we got about 16 boats Crossing. It's about three or four more behind us. No more beside us. It's kind of good to run with the group. As you can see, it gets a little crowded. The sea condition is really nice today, only about two feet. And uh, got a lot of company. So hopefully, everybody gets over with no problem. Hopefully, we'll see on the horizon about those other four boats. Should be a good week. Keep posting some videos. Sorry about how shaky it is bring my gimbal and uh, I'm on a boat. Have a great week. I know I will. So, as soon as you get in sight of land, which we're probably a little bit closer than that, we cheated. They require that you hang a yellow quarantine flag, quarantine flag from uh, either your port side outrigger if you have them, or if not, hang it right to your VHF antenna. They make little clips that go on there to hold them on. Ours didn't work, so we use zip ties. But you can see that boat right now hanging their flag. And then we will all head in, which those other boats are in now, and then head straight into customs. Uh, once you clear customs, we will hang the Bohemian flag. And we'll get some more video of that as we get inside. So it took us about an hour and a half, two hours to get here. Left the dock at eight. 7.54 or so, I rode out of Fort Lauderdale, which takes forever. And then got here about 10.45, so it wasn't bad at all. Seas were really good. Winds are starting to pick up now. But you can see everybody's quarantine flag still up. Uh, so when you get here, you go, one, the captain gets off, retrieves a customs form for every passenger on the boat, fills those out, and I recommend printing the five page uh, customs clearance forms online before you get here. That way you don't spend as much time in the customs office filling that out. So everybody fills out the customs forms, passports, and the five page customs application. And you take that, uh, the captain takes it up to the customs office while everybody waits on the boat, which is what we're doing now. So hopefully it won't take too long because it is a beautiful day. We'd like to get back out in the water after checking in to the beautiful Hilton Bimini. It's not too bad. Once we get in and get the customs forms, I'll try to get you a quick picture of what all those look like. And then uh, we'll fly the Bohemian flag 
and then we are free to cruise Bohemian waters until our departure date this Friday. And then we will check in with the CPB office when we get back into Florida and we'll try to update you on how to do all that too. Cause I have a nice cool app nowadays. that makes everything pretty easy. Except a couple of late arrivals. Everyone has cleared customs. And you can see the Bohemian flags are flying. Everybody's going to get checked into the room, which I would recommend doing ahead of time because it's been about two hours. And they still don't have room for us, even though we had a reservation. But you're in the Bahamas, so who really cares? And they're getting a lot better at the customs. Everybody was in and out pretty quick. I'd say within an hour and a half or two hours and everybody was trying to get uh, checked in the hotels. And I'll just give you a look out into the bay here. And the seaplane comes by about every half hour or so. People off. Other than that, so far, a successful trip. We'll get some more videos when we're out running around. Uh, they have a poker run scheduled for us, and I think uh, a couple other events, fishing tournaments, scavenger hunt, some fun stuff. There's Jason. Jason! <laughs> so we will keep you guys in touch, but that is basically the crossing in a nutshell. Not too difficult from Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. And the uh, hardest part is clearing customs and getting your hotel room. Finally made it back to Fort Pierce. Took a little bit, left this morning about 7.30. Seas were a little rough, probably two to four consistently on the crossing. So a little 265 there that we came over with. Took a little bit longer, but we made it. Um, checked back in about three miles offshore with the CBP, Customs and Border Patrol Rome app which if you're going to be in and out of the country, I highly recommend it. Um, pretty easy check-in. Uh, if you have any questions, they'll video chat you on the spot, and they're usually pretty quick about it. Um, we're still waiting for one more boat to clear, so we're hanging out here until we get back to the marina. But other than that, uh, nothing really to do when you come back to the country besides checking with Customs and Border Patrol. Remove your Bahamas courtesy flag and uh, go home. Looking forward to it. Had a great time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and learn something from it. If you did, like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be posting some more stuff in the near future.